30 days ago, I embarked on a journey to start running every day for 30 days. Well, not exactly every day. It was like a it was like a running program that I had ChatGPT generate for me. I just like typed it in and I said, hey, give me a running program. And I followed that running program that ChatGPT gave me for the last month or so. On day one, I tested my mile time and I ran a seven minute and 30 second mile. Uh, approximately I, I ran in the wrong lane so i ended up running a little bit more than a mile so that just kind of like the number i was able to like kind of deduce from that um but today we're going to run in the correct lane around this track here that i'm at um anywho i'm excited to see if i got faster uh who knows who knows Oh man, I'm really not with it today. The last few days have been a total whirlwind for me. I just got back from traveling from California. I was there for about a week. Uh, filmed some pretty fun videos, I thought, but I got back on a plane last night. Didn't really film much. And then, thank God, I went to the gym last night. I didn't get to go to the gym for like a week definitely made me uh, feel a lot lot better over the last 30 days or so i've gotten a lot better at stretching tell you that much if i have gotten slower in my mile time somehow at least i have gotten a little better at recovery if only i could get some recovery from my lethal drug addiction Today is a Wednesday. Uh, I haven't ran since Sunday, so I should be pretty um, recovered, hopefully. One last thing I want to say before I start this run, um, for all the people that have been watching this series so far, thank you very much for keeping track. It's fun to feel like I have like people like going on the journey with me rather than just doing it myself. Regardless of how this run goes, this one mile run, uh, whether I got faster or slower, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, at least I picked up something that I can enjoy for the rest of my life. I've started to really enjoy and embrace the uh, process of running and getting better, and it's really become something I enjoy now. So, new friend. God, it's so bright. It's like 3 a.m. right now. I can't sleep um, because uh, I feel like I'm almost like nervous, which I feel like is crazy to say. Like I'm nervous to go run a mile tomorrow for like, for nobody but myself. Like nobody cares. For some reason I have like pre-competition nerves that I have only ever felt for like golf tournaments and stuff. Whenever I play in those, I get kind of nervous the night before and I have the same kind of feeling right now. I don't know, just sitting in bed, can't sleep. And I thought I would share that little update. Welcome. So 12, we're running four miles today on this vacation in California. I've been eating totally off the diet. I mean, I've just been going crazy. We're trying to sweat it off today. Listening to some Utopia, Travis Scott. And we're uh, living life. And just like that, we're in Africa. What do you know? Over, but not today. 
done. Okay, run over. According to the, the tracker, like my average pace doesn't, hasn't really improved that much, but I definitely have noticed a difference in my actual just like lung capacity and stamina. The times are slow, because as you know, I'm, I'm, I'm these shots that you see of me running by the camera, those take a second. I have to drop the camera, stop, run back, run. <laughs> they take a second, so that's why the times kind of get skewed, but I don't know, I'm feeling good about this mile, this timed mile, so. You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. 30 days worth of work just destroyed because my goddamn iPhone 12 overheated during the run and stopped. And stopped. <sighs> Tracking the time. God damn it. It only got 0.7 of the mile. <sighs> I've just been standing around here for the last like five minutes soaking my phone in this water bottle with some ice in it. You can even see it in there, hold on. So I keep my water bottle or my phone in there, try to cool it off. It just, like the music stopped like halfway through and I thought I just like moved something with my thumb. But no, my iPhone just completely turned off. I was so locked in, I didn't even notice. 0.7 miles, done. At a six minute, per six minute, 30 second pace, 37 second. So I was cruising, but fuck, God damn it. Guess what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna rest for a little bit and then I'll run like, half a mile and I'll compile the two. I don't know. I don't know how to salvage this. This is a nightmare. Absolute worst case scenario. This is why I need an actual camera, not this stupid iPhone. Oh, I don't know. I want to make this as like as fair as possible where the time isn't skewed because I took like a rest period right now for my phone to cool down. What I should have done is I should have noted the actual time that I started the run just like analog on the actual clock and then done that. Oh, we're going to find, we're going to make this work. Ah, come on, let's go. I am somewhat scared. <laughs> Mom, help me. It's so hot. And the weather says mostly cloudy. I, uh, I don't see any clouds, bro. What is it? What is this garbage? I don't even know how much that second was. It was probably like 0.6. I'm so dead. Uh, we gotta do some math now. Hi, uh, I got a coupon for like a $9 original dozen. So is it a dozen? Well, actually, I mean, I guess I get any dozen. You can pull four. Back seat. Okay. <laughs> I think right now I'll just do just the regular, just like that one. Just the $9 all glazed. Oh wait, the M&M &M one looks fun. <laughs> Got it? All right. Can I get some, some napkins as well? Appreciate you. Have a good day. I roll up on the block and like any mini money mo. Let's go, you know, here we go. I should be a rapper, dude. Oh, baby. Cause that's what makes you beautiful. Now I was gonna go to Crumble Cookies uh, because that's how I finished the ab series. I did the Crumble Cookies where I had a bunch of them. But I was like, well, a coupon. And I gotta get those deals. So we got 12 glazed. Little baby suckers. Let's have at it, baby, shall we? Let's go. Oh man. I suppose I should probably talk about the run, huh? Oh shit. Would have been so much easier if I just got out of the car, but. Okay, so, so after some calculations, well, I actually haven't done the calculations yet, but I'm gonna do them once I get home. I'm gonna put on the screen here exactly what my mile time was or what I'm gonna say it is. I don't know, man. I feel like an infant child being left in the car just to, just to scorch while the white single mom goes in the grocery store to buy her avocados or whatever, and I'm just the baby sitting in the car roasting. Except the baby probably wouldn't be eating Krispy Kreme donuts, he'd probably just be crying. Okay, okay, we are back in the war room. I got the rest of these donuts here. I'm gonna munch on these while I do a little recap. A little exposition for ya. The final mile time, seven minutes, 6.9 seconds. That was after doing some math. What I did exactly was I converted the total just minutes of actual running I did into seconds. 
4 minutes 31 seconds plus 4 minutes 44 seconds was equal to 555 seconds exactly for running 1.3 miles because 0 0.7 plus 0 0.6 1.3 miles i don't want the time it took me to run 1.3 miles i want me the time it took me to run one mile so 1.3 times 0.76 is equal to one so then i just took um god damn so I took 555 seconds, multiplied by 0.76 to scale that back down to the time it would take me to run one mile, which is equal to like 426 seconds, I think, four, maybe. And then divided that by 60 to convert the seconds back to minutes. And I got 7.115 minutes, which is equal to seven minutes, 6.9 seconds. Oh, I don't even know if you cat, I don't even know if you understood any, I don't even know if I understood any of that. Oh, damn. I mean, it should be so simple to just time yourself running a mile. And yet, you know, I'm, I, I I don't want to have to like do all this math conversion to get a mile time. It shouldn't be that, it shouldn't be that hard. I'll definitely try again in the future. Um, make sure it's my, maybe I'll come like really early in the morning. So it's not so hot. So my phone doesn't overheat again. Um, the bottom line is I did improve my time. I got faster. I definitely ran faster. Um, that's good. So I guess that's the end of the series. Is there anything else I want to add other than I'm a runner now? Um, running against this this wall of like vines pretty cool it's reminding me of uh over the hedge that that movie with the raccoon that's what this is reminding me of i don't know why good movie oh shit. someone left the roxanne water roxanne I like that tiktok song roxanne I should want to do I really gotta I just gotta go dude I'm procrastinating I'm Batman I'm Batman if he was had love handles and Wee Batman Oosh. And of course ironically the little smeller I have is named Heat that's exactly what I need! <laughs> it actually just smells like cinnamon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Check, check. Skira, skira, skira. Ra ta ta ta. Dude, I'm so thirsty right now. Not thirsty for water, thirsty for, thirsty for attention. Yeah, that's what I am. Why do you think I have a YouTube channel? Nobody that has a YouTube channel isn't like self-conscious about like their self-worth. The only reason to have a YouTube channel is like because somebody wants attention. That's that's the only reason. I mean, you could say it's the whole like, oh, I want to be creative and it's my art. It's my ex way to express my creativity. My like, well, shut the fuck up. You're just a thirsty little attention whore that wants praise from people. No, another donut place. Donut Delight? Hello? Still got these suckers. <laughs>